performance anxiety is universal. There are manageable ways to deal with it. It can even be something that you have um, diminished to the point where it's a pretty minor part of your performance. I have known people that were debilitated by it, great players who just couldn't play in front of people, other people or in public, or give a speech, or do anything that required kind of creativity in front of a crowd. So there are going to be variations on a theme, just like we're all humans. Now, to be more specific, performance anxiety should be something that you, first of all, consider something you want to manage, not to get rid of. You can't get rid of it. You will have performance anxiety or nervousness in varying degrees, so it's not always predictable. Sometimes when you have to play or want to play something for your family in the living room at Christmas time, you get more nervous than if you're in a concert hall. What is that? It's here, I guess, in the brain. Anyway, the, the techniques that I found, um, the philosophical bit, for instance, is perspective. How important is what you're doing? And it's important to you to do well, uh, but that's a self-esteem um, issue or a self-esteem part of the of the picture but in the scheme of things if you make a few mistakes really how serious is that you know okay maybe you lose an audition and maybe you don't get number one at contest maybe you don't even get a scholarship at your school because you didn't play well that's sad and not good but it's no one died so that perspective is helpful more more literal um, techniques I use are when any of the symptoms of performance anxiety manifest themselves in your body with the dry mouth or the shaking hand or the butterflies, that sort of thing, or your mind wandering, allow it to happen. The more you fight it, the more tense you get and the more pronounced the symptoms become. It's a little counterintuitive at first, but when you start to realize that you can actually observe a symptom and it becomes something you don't fear. And it's kind of interesting for me when I talk to large uh, master classes or, or younger students about this. They always laugh, they always giggle and laugh when I say, when a butterfly comes, enjoy it. And they laugh, you know, and I say, oh, here it comes. It flew off and it was blue and orange. And they laugh again and suddenly it's, oh, okay. It's not the most comfortable thing, but the, the thing that I want them to realize is this is not a touchstone for a failure. It's just a symptom of being ready to perform. Adrenaline is going through your body. Your brain is starting to focus on something you want to do well. Allowing the symptoms to happen is very important. The, the other thing that I find most useful in my life, uh, performance life, is I call it present time. It's to stay in the moment musically. That's only now. Not any mistake or anything that happened before. And not to worry about what's coming. But literally breathe and make a beautiful sound on that moment of music, which will travel forward, of course, as you're playing. This takes some practice and some experience and some repetitive thought, but I use the mantra, big breath, beautiful sound, present time. It's hugely helpful. And the more you um, experience that by performing for others or playing for your trumpet uh, performance class or your mom or dad, the better you get at it. Once in a while, you, your mind wanders a little bit and you have to focus back on those. But having that little, I call it a mantra, but it's not really. But that little point of thought is very helpful. Use the same thing. Big breath, beautiful sound, present time.